Мил, в следующий раз мы придем на этот праздник с детками. Да не будь я гулять, только дети ходили бы уже с детьми на этот праздник. Таскали бы им корзиночки. Так же. Josh is spending Halloween with his kids. He's in Arizona. I should be there, but I'm more upset that he doesn't invite me to his house. I haven't seen his house till he hiding me. And for some reason, lately, he doesn't want uh, to hang out together like normally. Не знакомит с детьми, с мамой. Значит, Наташа, я вообще не понимаю, зачем мужчина, который не хочет жениться, не хочет семью. Наташа, ну вообще на Украине. Ты просто знакомилась, допустим, вы встречались там месяц. Уже он тебе делал предложение, предлагать жить вдвоем. I loved my first husband a lot. He was very educated, nice, polite, very sensitive, very clever, fight, always smooth. Uh, I was the one who was like, spark, sparkle. And if I would meet him now, things would be different. I was 22 years old, a wrong time. My mom hated my second husband. Because he would be very demanding here, and it felt like I'm a soldier of on duty. My mom liked Michael. My mom seen me going to three marriages that didn't work out. Every time she was expecting a grandchild, but only what she got is divorce. It was like Josh has been leading me on for one year of my life. It feels like I'm making a huge mistake moving to LA for Josh because he doesn't have time for me. It's hard because my head knows already and my head is clean, but here I still feel. I mean, I'm like, I'm down. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Before we even get into the rest of this video, I mean, well, before we get into my own opinions on it, um, please do start off by hitting that subscribe button in case you don't know and you're new to the channel. You're trying to reach 50K by the end of February. So let's make it happen, please. And I know there's a lot of people that come here, they watch the videos, but don't always remember to subscribe. So please do subscribe, especially if you think you are, but maybe you're not. But also at the same time, let's get into this one, like the video and uh, huh, let's rock and roll it and really break it, break it down. Мил, в следующий раз мы придем на этот праздник с детками. Да не будь я гуляла, только дети ходили бы уже с детьми на этот праздник. Таскали бы им корзиночки. Так же. Ваши там, да? Вот, скорее. Джош is spending Halloween with his kids. He's in Arizona, I should be there. But I'm more upset that he doesn't invite me to his house. I haven't seen his house till he hiding me. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I mean, it's interesting because obviously we've known for a while that the pressures of Natalie having a child, you know, does come from her mum. Now, of course, we know that she wants a child too. She wants to get married. I mean, she's been married not once, not twice, but three times. Okay. And the fact that that's happened already shows that, you know, I guess getting married is the easy part for Natalie. But then actually initially, you know, having a child is obviously where it never happens because, well, she is the one that, if you ask me personally, that ends up finding a way to botch the relationship. And we'll get to that later on, of course, in the video, because there's something else that she does say that I definitely want to touch on in terms of why I believe she's the problem in all of her relationships and why she's not where she should be. And where she should be is in a space where she's married and she's got children. And therefore, you know, she could be in this situation here with children. Now, of course, when it comes to Josh not inviting her to Arizona, well, here's the thing. Nally's always spoke about how she wants relationships to happen quickly. She wants someone to be with her and they want to propose to her straight away and want to have kids with her straight away but that hasn't happened with josh so i do wonder then if that hasn't happened because that hasn't happened to josh why is she even still sticking around why hasn't she literally said you know what this isn't working for me because you haven't reached my criteria do you see what i'm saying there's clearly there's a certain trend that happens in her life but i guess this is why we are under the influence more than ever that her relationship with josh is nothing but is nothing but just a transaction to be on the show because really and truly it doesn't actually represent who she is as a person, if you know what I mean. But let's continue and uh, yeah, we'll get into it a bit more. And for some reason, lately, he doesn't want uh, to hang out together like normally. Не знакомит с детьми, с мамой. Значит, Наташа, я вообще не понимаю, зачем мужчина, который не хочет жениться, не хочет семью. Наташа, ну вообще на Украине. Ты просто знакомила, допустим, вы встречались там месяц. Уже он тебе делал предложение предлагать жить вдвоем. So that's the, that's a very very good point there you know the mom talks about how normally if you was in ukraine you get a guy within a month boom bam you're living together within a few months i guess you're married but obviously clearly that formula i wouldn't say the formula has not worked what's obviously happened in that situation is that there's something that's happened in those relationships that hasn't obviously gone to plan right so i'm not going to blame the formula because at the end of the day clearly this is something that happens i guess a lot 
I wouldn't, and I'm not going to say it happens a lot, maybe in used to be in countries. This is probably something that happens for anybody because there are many people around the world that have stories about how they met their partner today and literally within a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, they were living together. And then by the time it got to like March three, month six, boom, we were married. And then a year later, we got kids and we've been married for like 40 plus years. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, that's not realistic because it can be realistic for certain people. But I guess it's only realistic if the people involved have the right intentions for one another. Clearly for her, when she's been in these relationships, the intentions, I'm going to say, probably have not been correct from her. But I say that in terms of the fact her attitude has probably always been the issue. But now let's get into this part here. My first husband a lot. He was very educated, nice, polite, very sensitive, very clever, fight, always smooth. Uh, I was the one who's like, spark. The fact that she even touches the fact that, I, you know, I was surprised. I was surprised that uh, she kind of took took her some kind of billy for the first relationship. She was the one that was sparked by Kamal. Clearly, she's basically saying I was the problem. You know what I mean? I was too much of a hothead. I was too da 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 da. So, okay, cool. Fair enough. She got married at 22. It didn't work out. That is fine. It can happen. No worries. Let's move on to the next one. Sparkle. If I would meet him now, things would be different. I was 22 years old. Uh, wrong time. My mom hated my second husband. Why did your mom like him? Because he would be very demanding, cute, and it felt like I'm a soldier of home duty. It's funny she talks about the second husband being too being too demanding, and you know she was the one who was like a a, a a soldier on duty. Okay, cool, that is fine. I get how that cannot be healthy, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that how she behaves? Isn't she very demanding, and doesn't she kind of treat her men as if they should be you know a soldier on duty because she's always saying Josh needs to do this, Josh needs to do that, Mike should have done this, Mike should have done this. You see what I'm saying? So it's quite interesting because that second person has, uh, I guess, a personality that fits some of her traits, shall I say. But hey, it didn't work out because obviously the mum didn't like it. I get it. I wonder if that relationship went down south because of Natalie or because of her mum didn't like it. But either way, though, it didn't work. All right, cool. Fair enough. It is what it is. My mom liked Michael. But then we get to Michael. Michael was a third husband. Now with the Michael one, let's just keep it a buck. We don't know necessarily what her intentions were with the first guy, but I can imagine the intention of the first guy was generally to be married and have kids. But clearly she was too much for him because I guess she's Natalie. So I, I'm assuming maybe he's the one that left her, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Second husband, all right, cool. There was obviously some sort of tension between the fact that they had, they had two personalities that both clearly wanted to be in control. That's what it seemed like, do you see what I'm saying? And she didn't like it, nor did her mom. That's what I'm thinking. But now we get to Michael. Here's the thing, though. We knew that Michael did everything possible to make this woman happy, just like the first husband, clearly. But that relation didn't work out. But with the Michael one, it seems to me, well, not seen, but I think we all pretty much know that the reason why that relation didn't work out, it wasn't because of Michael. It was purely because she just wanted to be in America. I mean, Natalie can deny it or she wants and tell us different stories, but the matter of the fact is she literally left this guy less than a year, which is quite funny. She wants a guy to step in her life and to pretty much give her a child, give her marriage within a year. That's what she wants, right? But yeah, she's with Michael and she left him within less than a year before they, they could even get to that point. I do wonder, you know, then I asked this question, does Natalie even know what the hell she wants? Because clearly, one minute she's like, oh, I want this, I want this. And then she has it, boom, something, something happens. Now, I'm not going to diagnose her, but if it feels as if she's got like a, a, slim, a similar trait to what maybe somebody with ADHD may have, you know, how uh, one minute you, your mind could be here. And then you're like, oh, no, 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 actually, I change your mind. Or it could be like someone who's indecisive, which technically is me. <laughs> one minute I'm like this. Then I'm like, actually, no, 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 you know what? This isn't said. You see what I'm saying? But being indecisive isn't powerful enough to be ruined in relationships. So if anything, it could be the case where she may have some traits, some form of ADHD, because this woman can't stay freaking still. There's always an issue. There's always a problem. Her temper is always boom like that. You see what I'm saying? And I only say that it's a potential thing without trying to diagnose this because I've known people, you know, who have dated people who, you know, have a quick temper, but also have that ADHD. And it's like one minute you don't know whether you're coming or going. And the matter of the fact is, in case you haven't seen the preview of the next episode, the second that she walks into the venue where she meets Josh, He's like, oh, here we go. And to be fair, Michael's always like, oh, here we go. <sighs> but hey, we can we continue. My mom seen me going to those three marriages that didn't work out. Every time she was expecting a grandchild, but only what she got is divorce. I'm not gonna lie to you, that, that line is freaking golden. 
My mom was expecting children, but all she got was divorce. <laughs> that line is savage. Uh, you know what? I was going to say something beforehand of something else that she says. So I have to go back now because oh, that's it. I literally got back to that point just on, just, just on point. Someone reliable. Has, has, has Natalie's mom never processed that maybe in Natalie's relationship, relationships, maybe it's not necessarily the men that are unreliable. Maybe it's her daughter is the one that's unreliable because she's the one that Seems to be able to get to the barrier of marriage, but then when it comes to really committing, boom, she runs. You know, so it's, it, it, this is the problem that I find with Natalie's mother. She has not raised her child to take accountability at all. And, no, and, and, it's, and it's evident because the mom is not taking accountability that maybe these relationships aren't working because of her daughter. Mm. My mom seen me going those three marriages that didn't work out. Every time she was expecting a grandchild, but only what she got is divorce. It was like Josh has been leading me on for one year of my life. It feels like I'm making a huge mistake moving to LA for Josh because he doesn't have time for me. It's funny, she's like, oh, I'm making a big mistake to move to LA for Josh. I'm pretty sure you moved, you moved to LA for yourself, to be honest with you. I don't see this happening. There's no way she can sit there and say that, hey, you know, I made a big mistake a move for Josh because I don't believe that Josh even asked you to move to LA for him. Like, why would Josh ask you to move to LA if he doesn't even make time for you to meet his family and to meet his kids or to even know where he lives? You see what I'm saying? So why would he do that? You moved to LA because you thought if you moved to LA, he might step up his game. Tell me otherwise. Come on, let's be real. From a man perspective if i ask someone to move it's because i know that i'm going to be there with them i'm going to meet them at the airport they're going to come to my house i'm going to look after them none of those things have happened point blank period it's crazy though because natalie's mom's single right hmm, i wonder why it's hard because my head knows already and my head is clean but here i still feel i mean i'm like i'm down it's funny she's like i know here that this isn't working but for some reason i'm sticking around but you know what i'm done well <laughs> listen we can only hope that she is done but hey, let me know what you're thinking down below and uh, we can talk about it. But um, as per usual, subscribe. Let's get to that 50. Don't forget to like the video. Peace.